Afternoon traders, Taylor with Gamma Edge here, coming at you with a quick market status for Monday, March 13th. Here is our general disclaimer. Give this a read. When you've done so, let's move on. Here, looking at our models uh, for the tick, tick US model, starting off first here. Really not a ton to say that we haven't hit on all last week. We have a downtrending cumulative tick. This is below a short term moving average tick. Railroad tracks down, as we say. For the longer term trick, tick, this is um, further inverting day over day, uh, trending lower, filter tick, we saw significant selling pressure both Thursday and Friday, new lows continue to outpace new highs throughout the week, uh, so all in all, models looking very weak here. Tick, uh, ARCX model, again, cumulative tick, trending lower, railroad tracks down, longer term moving average ribbon, fully inverted, this is also trending lower. <coughs> One thing I will note is we're starting to get quite a bit of a gap between the uh, moving average ribbon itself and the cumulative tick. Uh, this isn't to say that we aren't going to continue to go lower. However, um, as we get further and further away, the odds of seeing some kind of relief bounce, um, as you would say, um, I guess you want to say gets greater. This is really just based off intuition, no back testing here. However, it's something to be aware of. Again, this in context with the uh, GEX ratio starting to get washed out that we'll hit on later. Um, just something to think about if you're looking to pre press your shorts here. Moving on to SPY price action, you'll see we had a bit of a bullish structure forming. We had a higher low here, higher high. Um, had a higher low form here. Then we had a lower high and we took out that higher low. So again, bias is down to the... Um, the swing low here on this time frame, which is right at 375, we make it a back test here of 390, which was a key gamma level, and they continue lower. If then statements, however, just from the daily chart, technicals only, that's kind of what it's telling me. Looking at the five minute chart again, we're in a bit of a trading range here. So the bears, we want to see the local low from Friday um, be taken out. Maybe we get a break, and then a retest, and a push lower to 375. And then for the bears, obviously, you want to see a reclaim of these key levels back up to the swing highs and progress higher. Uh, looking at two minute chart, this is with the 10 a.m. Uh, trading view script run. Uh, just price action, we have SPY, SPX here, QQQs, uh, COTMC actually played a pretty key level on Friday. Haven't seen that a ton. Starting to see that more and more as we get uh, pressed lower. Uh, good area, kind of, we saw a rejection here. Again, then uh, kind of oscillated around negative GEX and COTMP throughout the day. SPX, similar price action, QQQ, again, similar price action with the afternoon chop in between uh, negative GEX and COTMP. Uh, moving on to uh, specific stock, um, specific stock uh, interactions from Friday. Uh, we had Microsoft uh, big reject at, at negative GEX, again, or sorry, negative trans, and again at negative GEX. Looking at Apple, had a couple different moves here. You had a uh, zero GEX to P trans move, had a break in a retest of retest of P trans down here, which we then trended lower throughout the day. Uh, again, you could have gotten kind of a break in a retest of zero GEX itself. COTMP was acting as bouncing, so got a little bit of the full gamut here on Apple. Looking at Google, again, uh, kind of throughout through lunch, we're trending right around zero GEX. Again, then we saw the fall down, so zero GEX could have been a great risk to reward ratio. Uh, now moving on to the indexes with the 5 p.m. trading view script. Again, this is our best guess before we see updated levels tomorrow morning. SPY here, we're trapped right, up, right in between negative GEX, COTMP, um, SPX, COTMP to the downside, COTMC to the upside, and Qs, again, COTMP to the downside, COTMC to the upside. So again, a bit of a no, a no man's land here index-wise. I uh, want to see you know price um, trade uh, one direction or another, get a good risk to reward trade off a key level that we have. Uh, looking at liquidity stocks here, Apple um, closed right at P trans for the day, zero GEX P trans. We know those are two great labels to potentially trade against. I uh, want to keep those in mind. Uh, Microsoft down below, not a ton to say here. NVIDIA uh, trapped in between zero GEX, COT, and P. Another good um, um, stock to keep an eye on. Those are a couple good good levels to potentially trade against. And then we have Tesla, uh, not a ton to say here, trapped in between negative trans and uh, negative GEX. Uh, last batch liquidity stocks we have uh, Google top left uh, in between zero gex negative trans uh, Amazon really no man's land down towards COTMP uh, meta 
traded right up against P trans in the session after market hours and Netflix trading down right around COT and P. So another thing to note is we kind of have a washed out tick uh, GEX levels, which we'll hit on in a minute are pretty washed out. A lot of stocks trading down towards their COT and P levels. So maybe we see a bounce, maybe we don't, but again, it's kind of how we're using our tools. I uh, wanted to hit on the GAX ratios real quick. You'll see these are updated through the 9th, starting to get to washed out levels. What do I mean by that? Um, in the heat map, these are just red. Uh, you can see a lot of 0.4s, 0.35s. Um, SPY specifically, we're at 0.46. Um, this was as of Thursday. So, you know, through our back testing results, those are familiar with it. Then are we starting to get towards those those levels where we see, do see a potential reversal. So, all that to say that the price action itself in tick, we are trending lower. However, using some of our tools, we may see some kind of um, bounce. So think about that when you're looking to, to press your shorts here, if you're looking to press your shorts here. So um, I'm, I'm still being very, very tactical here, kind of trading, trading both ways. But most importantly, I want to be at a key gamma level when I am looking to take a trade. So um, hopefully this is helpful with um, thinking about kind of how I'm thinking about going into tomorrow's session. And with that, we will see you all tomorrow, or sorry, tonight for open mic and on early tomorrow to get the, the week started. So that have a great rest of your weekend and talk to you later. Bye.